So hi, welcome to the Good Noise Podcast. We're here with a yellow sweater. We're going to ask them some questions. I'm going to start. Uh, what inspired you guys to start the band? Well, we it's funny. We were in like three different bands before. Yeah, together. Um, yeah, yeah, together. Yeah, yeah. And we were with like a few other people. And like it just didn't work with them. Okay. Um, but no, we, we like we've always had the chemistry together yeah. for music. And so that's kind of like... Well, and that and the, like our friendship was just so strong. Yeah, that, you know, we just kind of. I kind of. He was like, "Oh, I play guitar," and I'm like, "Oh, I started playing guitar, and then I sucked at guitar, picked up a bass guitar, and it's been like that since then, basically." Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, wow. It's like fairy tale. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It is, yeah. What yeah. well, though? A, a little oh, bit. Oh yeah. No, no, I, I, because I've been playing guitar since I was like ten, so like. But I never really, like, back then didn't think I would want to make music. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It was just more of, like, playing, like, I don't know, like, old, like, Pink Floyd and stuff like that. Oh. And then it just, you know, progressed into actually making music, oh, excuse me, music. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then I just kind of just started playing bass. All right. It just happened. Awesome. It was really... Yeah. It was out of nowhere. Yeah, the first, the first time we ever played together was my first time ever playing bass and... <laughs> I was scared. I was bad. I was scared. I was really oh. bad. <laughs> wow. No. So it wasn't like a magical, oh my god, I can play this flawlessly. No. <laughs> no, no. It took, like a, it took like a year until I got it. Until oh. I got it. Good. Yeah. No, I remember he would like try to call me, like asking if we wanted to jam. I would just like decline his calls. I'm like, I don't, I don't know. I'm not too busy today. Yeah. <laughs> I'm busy yeah. doing nothing. No. And then eventually I just... Then eventually I got good. Yeah, yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Cool. Good, good. So what is your writing process like? That's, it's it's always different. Like, for, because for like Mother Alive, like our last album was, um, I started writing it, um, like we were, I was out of the country. We were both out of the country um, on a school trip. Mm -hmm. um, And... Mm -hmm. My, uh, I had a recent death in the family, and like it was just a good way for me to mourn, I guess, because like I couldn't really mourn while I was on this vacation. Um, yeah. You know, I was I was out with my friends and all, mm-hmm. so it was like a good way to start mourning. Um, and that's where the song "Easy" came from. Uh, that was like the first song that I had written for that album. Um, okay. But it's it's always different. It's more. It always kind of just starts with me having an issue with something. <laughs> Ten or like yeah, having a resentment. Then you something. then you write some words to it, and then you just kind of be like, "Hey, let, it's, let, yeah. let me play this thing that I wrote," and I'm like, yeah. "Oh, cool!" And we yeah, in, uh, it's, five, in five or ten minutes, we have a yeah. A song. It, I always have riffs and stuff like licks on the on the back burner. Yeah, and I just kind of like pick and choose which ones sound better with the lyrics. Yeah, oh. I like that. Cool. Uh, so, what's the first song that you guys wrote for the project? Nowhere Land. Nowhere Land. Off um, of our Bulls and Butterflies, our first album. Uh, we, we that's that that sounds like four. That's, four that's or like five. I, that's the first song we ever wrote together. Like when we first started jamming. Yeah. Like um, when you, you were a sophomore. I don't know. I was a freshman in high school. Yeah, and I was a sophomore yeah. in high school. Um, that's when we started. That's when we first wrote that song. Yeah, that was what 2016. Maybe I don't. Something remember. Like I, that. Don't, I don't remember. Yeah. But I remember like it was a while ago. You played the riff and then we just kind of oh we just kind of wrote the song and then yeah, that that's a blur like a lot of the old music is a blur yeah i just don't i don't remember where but, where it happened it just sort of you're just like hey yeah i do this. i do remember like it was a cool moment to yeah. um like because i put him the riff and like even i was like oh this is badass this is great. like i played it and i'm like oh this is cooler than i thought it was yeah, yeah. and so it just it launched from there and we were able to like really dive into that song yeah it was cool mm-hmm. cool, cool. Yeah, you actually brought up uh, your album, Bulls and Butterflies. I wanted to uh, talk to you about that because, like, I was talking to Shane about it because when we interview bands, we usually, like, dive into their discography. Disc- uh, right, whatever. right. Yeah, um, and I saw the name of the album, and it was just so peculiar. I've literally, Bulls and Butterflies, I, I've never put those two together. And also the album art it's... was wonderful. So, like, Thank where'd, you. Um... Where, where'd you get that? Well, so, okay, it's a little weird. I was, like, trying to be edgy back then. Okay. Yeah. Like, even though it was literally, like, a year ago, I was trying to be edgy, but it was, um... Yeah. He still tries. Well, I do try. Right. No, it was, um... Don't we all? It was yeah, it Bulls... Oh, God, I can't remember exactly. 
bulls were like um from what i had read was like a, a biblical symbol for and i'm not like tic- like particularly religious but mm-hmm. um like a bull was like, like a religious symbol for um like a sacrifice of some sort and i don't know what i was reading you never before. explained to no me i didn't either and I this didn't is my know. first time hearing what it was you just like, <laughs> the album and I was like um, oh this is a cover and i was like cool and a butterfly was I'll like a for uh rebirth so i was kind of like oh. thinking to myself i'm like i'm kind of sacrificing a big part of myself toward uh like actually releasing music and stuff kind of like putting myself out there like it could end very badly or it could go really really well so it was a part of my life that i was kind of reborn into uh doing something different than what i had been doing so okay all right yeah i like that yeah cool that's definitely the best answer i could have gotten (laughs) from that cool awesome okay Wow, I can't read. Sorry. (laughs) Uh, So, how do you feel about the reception to your album, Mother Alive? It's uh, it's a lot more than what. Yeah. Um. Everyone that I've showed it shown it to. I don't know what word to use there. Um. Everyone that I've shown it's shown. It's shown. Okay. It's shown. Everyone that I've shown it to has been like, "Wow, that's really good." Like, yeah. how do you guys get it to sound so good? And I'm just like, I don't know, we just kind of just did it, yeah. really. I mean, yeah. It was, because, like, that one, like, and I was, like, telling myself earlier, uh, like, that's really, I considered that one to be our first album, mm-hmm. because Bulls and Butterflies was all me just kind of mm-hmm. learning how to do yeah. all of this on my own. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it was like, it, and like with um, bulls and butterflies, I only had a hand in like a couple of songs. Like really, yeah. like really, I didn't really like. No, that, like, like, that was before you were really in the band. Yeah, because so. I just wasn't. You know. Yeah. No, Mother Alive. Um, it's been a lot. It's been very well received from yeah. more people than I thought it would be. Mm-hmm. Uh, my parents actually. liked it. Yeah, my parents really liked. Which is good. They were like, "This yeah. is like solid. There's some good, good lyrics in here." I'm like, so I'm very proud of yeah. that. Album. You should be. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, it is solid, yeah. Um, Wait, I also have yeah. another question. Go for it. Yeah. So, I'm sorry, Shane, I'm stealing everything. <laughs> Wait, so did Yellow Sweater start out as like a solo project for you then? Did yes. You, you... Um, okay. So, it was, yeah, originally it was me um, because like uh, one of our previous bands, when we actually thought that that one was going to go places, um, we uh, it was like winter of like 2018 or something. And uh, we just, like, all of us stopped talking. We were all busy. And uh, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do this on my own. Like, yeah. I, I want to do stuff. Um, it's not working out with them. So, um, yeah. So uh, I, re- I released three singles and an EP and then the first album on my own, um, which was just kind of like testing the waters, trying to see how to do everything, and what like, it would sound like. You would still send me, like, demos of all those songs and be like, hey, check this out. And I'd yeah, be like, yeah. cool. I yeah, like we, were, we were still talking. Yeah, we were still doing the thing. I mean, because that was before I knew how to write a song or at least right. write a song yeah. well. And yeah. now, like, not only are we doing this thing, we're doing another thing where he just plays drums and then I play bass. And we have another band. It's called um, Crab Core, which basically it's going to be a band that makes fun of like the uh how how do i describe i don't know like the uh ba- it makes fun of bands like attack attack and okay. Beartooth and stuff so- yeah it's gonna be like it's gonna okay. be that kind of stuff and it's just been stupid okay. on the right stuff like that but sounds like fun yeah. no yeah. it's it's <laughs> been a journey but yeah it did start off with just me okay yeah our friend's down here he's he's just kind of hanging out just hanging out yeah yeah cool <laughs> yeah <laughs> Um, He's a distraction. Uh, so, what does your band name mean? <laughs> it's a funny story because it's pointless and boring. Tell it. But, <laughs> tell it. <laughs> it's a funny story. It's pointless and um, boring. Basically, oh my god, I was trying to like... like okay, keep in mind, I was edgy. Mm-hmm. I was trying to be edgy. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. I was like looking in my closet for a sweater to wear, and <laughs> I noticed I didn't have a yellow sweater. I had literally every single color but a yellow sweater. <laughs> uh-huh. 
And I was like, oh, that's the band name. Oh, look at and I told my mom, I remember I told my mom, and she was like, first of all, Dylan, that's horrible. And I was like, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay. And she was like, but if you're going to do it, like, make it unique. And I was like, oh, okay, so it'll be one word in all lowercase. You, you texted it. To, I remember you texted me. You were like, I got the band name. And I'm like, yeah. And you texted. I was so disappointed. He was mad. I was so bit. disappointed. I was. I think I saw. Back I sent back a, a picture of Charlie Brown. I was yeah, like, I was like, really. Damn. But I mean, lo and behold, it's it's worked it's, out yeah. so far. So yeah. yeah, it's a pretty cool band name. Yeah. It's like it, it, it's different. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, like, yeah. 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 it's, it's almost like, indie. I don't know. Yeah. It's cool. Thank you. Yeah. So because we're all stuck in quarantine, stuck inside. Um, what bands have you been listening to recently to pass the time? Dude, <laughs> that's a tough one. I've, we, uh, right before quarantine started, we we had a bunch of shows that were lined up for, like, a bunch of bands that we were going to go see. And then, like, the headlining bands we knew. And then, like, we started listening to, like, the... All the openers. All the opening acts. And then that just let, like, the floodgates open. Yeah, like, it's like, been a lot of, uh... Grayscale, Hot Mulligan. Ooh, I've, been, yeah. Yeah, I've been listening to a lot of Knocked Loose lately. Okay. Mm-hmm. Like, a lot of Knocked Loose. Like, I, they're on repeat 24 I've been 7. to listen to that. For me, it's, it's mostly been. Um, yeah, it's been a lot of Attack Attack, actually. Because, okay. like, I've been just trying to, like, write the songs for the other projects. MySpace and, Metal. Yeah, the MySpace mm-hmm. Metal stuff. And it's just been, like, that's just kind of what I've been listening to because it's. Just easy to draw inspiration from, from that, and then a lot of uh, a lot of pop punk as well. I just like because it's like we're getting like I just finished my first year of college, so like I'm done for the for the summer. So I've been listening to a lot of pop punk, but unfortunately, the weather sucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Um, so have you guys been? Well, you've touched on it, but if you want to go more in depth, uh, are you guys working on any new projects while you're stuck at home? Um, well, yes, as a matter of fact, uh, so we're, um, I, so I finished writing the next album, essentially, um, it's actually kind of a, yeah, yeah, well, it, it, like, that's, this writing process for this one has been different from everything before. Yeah, because um, it's, it's been really, like, quick, you would basically just, like, yes, send, it's a, he'd send me lyrics, and then, like, an hour later, he'd send me a really rough demo, and then the next day we jam it's it a, out, yeah. and then it, we'd have an actual demo, yeah. and then we'd and done, yeah. And so like with this yeah. album, like I don't know if you guys had caught it on on the live stream earlier today, but uh, yeah. I had mentioned like this album is the most personal I've I've ever written. Mm-hmm. Um, like I um, like I've had a lot of stuff go on the past six months um, that have really inspired me to write, and it's a lot like it's a lot different than the stuff that's already come out. It's a lot more just depressing. It is. is the best way I can it. really it. is. Like, describe some of the lyrics, because it's just like... Uh, oh. it, and, like, because I wanted to make the process for this next album, like... Or not the process, like, the, the outcome a lot deeper and more meaningful to me, because I know, like, a lot more people are going to be able to relate to it. Um, and But, no, I think, like, quarantine, as much as it sucks, it's almost kind of a blessing, um, like, musically for me, be, uh, being able to revise, like I'm stuck at home, so yeah. you know, being able to revise everything and really go in depth with what I'm writing is uh, it, it's it's pretty good. It's actually worked out for me pretty well. Yeah, that's that's what it's been for me with the songwriting stuff. Is I've just been writing just songs just to out of boredom almost. I just wake up at like yeah. one in the morning and just be like, oh yeah, and then but, I just uh, write a, a song in like five minutes, and then I read it the next one. And I'm like. What the fuck was I thinking? And usually, that's yeah, usually what happens. Yeah. But like, you know. But yeah. Um, yeah. So it, this album, it's all it's all written. Um, not all demoed, but hopefully soon, you okay. know, we'll be able. To like, we were really getting the demos down, and then quarantine happened. So you know, we can't really jam. I mean, yeah. And we're lucky that we were able to do this thing together. Together. Today. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah. cool. So, other than uh, working on music, new music, and uh, listening to music, how has it been staying busy during quarantine? Uh, well, I'm still so I'm a senior in high school, so I still I still do have like work and all that to do. Um, mm-hmm. 
which sucks because Zoom meetings Zoom at fucking like seven thirty in the morning it doesn't fly with me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Fuck that. It's, it's it's not fun. Yeah, uh, but like other than that, I just kind of I've been I'm actually been I've been reading a lot more just for fun, which is weird for me because I don't like to read unless I'm forced to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I uh, but no, it's like it's there's not much else to do, you know. Yeah. yeah I mean, I was also just like a freshman in college, so like I finished my first year of college, and I had finals. Finals? I don't even remember if it was this week or last week. I don't, they kind of like it's, it's, all, it's all blended together. together. Yeah. Like, ever, like I haven't been back to school since March, mm-hmm. so it's just oh wow. Yeah. So yeah. I just kind of just been doing schoolwork up until recently, and now I you know I've just been kind of hanging out and just you know yeah. doing whatever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um. So what's your favorite part of being like in the DIY scene? How nice people are. How surprisingly nice like, yeah, I was like, gonna, bands that we've seen. How surpri- how surprisingly well, like down to earth those people are. I would for me I'd say it's like how supportive like you wouldn't think uh people would be as supportive of this. You that you know that you'd think people would say, well, you know, sign to a record label so you know you're successful. You know, yeah. like Something like that, but no, like they're they're really supportive. Um, like, like everybody we've met along the way, like at shows and um, just online, and like yeah, it, it, they're really nice and really supportive, and they they share all of our stuff. So it's it, I'm really grateful, you know, for those people, and especially for me. My one of my other favorite things is hearing someone in the DIY scene say like, "Oh, that song that you guys have is great." Like that specific, like for. A lot of people, it's, they've told me that I'm a fucking mess is like, is, is, yeah. is a great song. Mm-hmm. It is. And, you know, that was one, we just jammed that one out, remember? We were just jamming in my basement, and then we just yeah. finished. That song was originally going to be, um, in my head, like, I didn't, like, in my head, that song was originally going to be Tooth by Tattoos um, sort of sound, but then I had switched that up, and I yeah. came up with that bass line. Mm-hmm. So, but yeah, um, yeah, all that, like, just how supportive everybody is, how cool everybody is, really. Yeah. Kind of crazy yeah. that, like, people are just like, you can do it, you know? Yeah. Just keep doing they don't, it. They don't shit on you for yeah, it. They don't, yeah, they really don't. Yeah. It's good. That one, yeah. Just the, yeah. Cool. All right. So, uh, what artists would you say are your biggest inspirations when you make music? Well, okay. That's hard for me, because <laughs> like I like, oh my god! Like for Mother Alive in particular, um, it was such a mix between like old classic rock and then '90s alternative sort of stuff. Like um, I had a lot of because like Pink Floyd is my favorite band of, of all time, so like obviously I'll be listening to them a lot, and then all of a sudden I'm just like, ooh. I kind of like that. Like Mother Mother Live the song um was heavily influenced by them. Uh not in any like particular song, but just like the whole vibe and the whole sound of it, you know. Yeah. And then I go to like a song like Easy or uh or like Tooth by Tattoo or something and it's that's more it's more of the heavier type stuff. Yeah. Even like well like Easy was inspired like by Basement. Mm-hmm. Uh band Basement uh cuz I was like super into them. A little bit ago, like I couldn't stop listening to them, so that was inspired by them. But yeah, I never really got into Basement. You showed them to me, and I was yeah. like, mm-hmm. "But no, like <laughs> it's okay." But yeah, the influence is all over the place. Um, I couldn't like pinpoint a specific band. Okay, it's it's pretty much like everybody I listen to. Like this new album is gonna have there there are some heavier almost metal por- uh, portions. Yeah, um, musically, not I can't scream, but yeah. like yeah. musically, yeah. musically it'll uh, it'll have like even some metal portions. So it's yeah. it's exciting. It's a lot. Of That's exciting, yeah. Um, so what was the first concert that you attended? First one that we attended. Well, the first one I attended uh, was Green Day. The one that I actually like enjoyed was Green Day. Um, it was, it was, it was life changing. Like as cliche as that sounds, mm-hmm. it was like it made me realize I was like, wow, like I, I do. I do want to do that. Uh, that yeah, yeah like, that was um, when we went to Shamrock Fest in 2018. Yeah, that, yeah. oh Shamrock. Some, it was some 41 was headlining, and that's my yeah. favorite. Band, so I was yeah. like, 
Oh, we got we got to go to that, yeah. and then yeah. the coldest day. Like I've never been that cold. It was, a little, it was bit freezing, bit. and um, I I experienced my first mosh pit. Mm-hmm. That, that was fun. We saw a dude's butthole. That was that was that was, that was, that was, that was so That's hot. But it happened. Oh, okay, yeah. So and fun. then we saw Stone 41, and that was like, that's when I was like, yeah, no, I want to do this for the rest of my life. Yeah. Not yeah. when you saw the dude's butthole. Yeah. Yeah. That's the dude's butthole. I was like, yeah, the guy's butthole. Yeah. <laughs> I want that to happen to my shows. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> and, um, exactly. What era did you see Green Day in? <laughs> oh, it was like, it was uh, Revolution Radio. Okay. Um, oh, okay. No, it really wasn't that long ago, but like, um, like, before that, like, I just didn't see the need to go to shows yeah. that often, you know? Because, like, most of the bands I listen to uh, are all old. Mm-hmm. Before that, at least. Like, they're all old, and, like, most of them were dead. So I was like, okay, well, I can't see them. And yeah. I wasn't too into music before we started. Like, I-, I listened to a little bit of music, but I wasn't, like... I didn't listen to music every day. It wasn't a, p- it wasn't a part of my life, and then, like... After I met him, it was just kind of like he was just like, "Oh, at least listen to Green Day. Oh, listen to Neck Deep. Oh, listen to this, 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 yeah. and this." And I was like, yeah. "Okay, cool, fine, yeah. whatever." It was really annoying at first. It was when he was like, "Oh, you should listen yeah. to this band." I'm like, "But just... you're happy I did it now, aren't you?" No, <laughs> no, I hate it here. No, I hate it. <laughs> okay, also, so, uh, oh, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. You can go. Yeah. Uh, it also sucks though because like now whenever I try to suggest a band to you, you're like, I, I know them. I know them. I'm like, I'm <laughs> them already. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that's every time I try to talk like Ferris or like Max. Like, yeah. 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 So okay, speaking of concerts, if you could go to any concert, past or present, that's already happened, which concert would you go to? Oh God. Um, um. Oh God. I don't. I can't remember what year it was. It was the year Nirvana headlined Reading. Uh, and, her, and Kurt Cobain came out, uh, and he faked an illness. And like I've seen the like videos and stuff on YouTube, and I'm just like, mm-hmm. how like riveting it must have been to be there. Like that. Like I don't. I, I'm a huge Nirvana fan though, so like I might just be biased. Yeah. Like that show just looked incredible. My, it's a close tie between Woodstock '94 with Green Day. I think it was that one, right? It was that yeah, 94. 94. Yeah. Or um, Slipknot at Download Festival. 2009. 2009, yeah. Those, those, are, those are the two concerts that I wish I could yeah. have gone to. You said Slipknot, and, like the Ooh. hairs on my neck stood up. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking well, love Slipknot. We've, we've seen them live. Uh, Luckily, yeah. We've gotten to see them. It, that's an experience. Yeah, that, I that, them that, last that, summer. That was an yeah. experience. Yeah. Even from exactly. the nosebleeds, it was, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. we, we were in the pit, and it was, we yeah, were, like, right by the fire. It was, it was a very, very good time. Damn. It was awesome. Yeah. It's exciting. Um, it's a bit, like, scary, because it's Slipknot, so that's why I'm... Actually, asking. it was less scary for Slipknot than it was for, like, Behemoth and Gojira. Yeah, like, the opening yeah. bands were really? way scarier for them. Yeah, well, Behemoth, I mean, you look at Behemoth as, like, doom, death, Satanic, metal. Satanic. Yeah, crazy. Satanic. And, yeah. While yeah. you, while you, while yeah, you had, like, these Viking kind of... dudes come up, and they were just, like, throwing bodies left and right, mm-hmm. and then... Gojira comes on, and then it's all these skinny, just the skinny, greasy people coming in. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> they're flailing and, themselves. And Volbeat's just a bunch of old people. Just Volbeat like fucking. Out. Yeah. No offense, yeah. Volbeat fucking sucks. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, 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 it was groovy live. I like still counting. That's about the only song I can listen to. But no, I. Yeah, no, you're right. You're yeah, right. It's a sad truth. They were... It was just fun. It was fun. He wore a fucking cowboy hat. He did. <laughs> he was pretty <laughs> cool. Oh, oh was, shit. Um, so what are your top three songs to perform live? Oh, wait, our own songs? Yeah. yeah okay. you, I know. I was, like, what I was like, singing in my oh, head. Yeah, you mean like, uh, uh, like oh, the, that Pink Floyd song? Yeah, I love yes. that one. No, idiot. Um, <laughs> I know. You're no fucking dumbass. For me, for me, it would be easy for sure. Yeah. Um, easy is a fun one. Easy. I'm a fucking mess. Yeah, is, uh, cool. Actually, they're all on my. And Tooth by Tattoo. Because yes. Tooth by Tattoo is um, on all of our set lists. 
I've made like six set lists, and it's always our closer. Yeah. Like, like I don't know what it is about that, but I just get closing vibes with that, and it's fun. To get to play. And the the harmony in the chorus is yes. so fun to do. Yes. And like that bass line is just really fun to play. It is. It's yeah. so much fun to play. Yeah. If I had to have a, if I had to have a fourth, it would be Nowhere Land because Nowhere Land yeah. is also very fun. This is the first song we ever. Remember um, when I did that bass part for the. I don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah, I remember, I remember I the first time we, was... we did that, and you're just like, what are you doing? And I'm like... It's the first time you ever contributed to yes, the song. Yes, I know. Fuck <laughs> 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 Yeah. Cool. So, yeah. what would you say your dream venue to play in is? Like, top of the list. Oh, God. Well, it depends. Like, theoretically, if we had ever become a like stadium bit uh like an arena Wem- band Wem- it'd be Wem- Wembley. Wembley Stadium. That's, Wembley? That's, that's like, okay. that's like yeah. the, the dream that is, that's like yeah. not gonna happen. So, so I mean you can aspire no. I'm aspiring, I'm aspiring but, but I'm being but real exactly. yeah, probably not gonna but happen. No, like uh normal like venue that we'd be able to play um Metro Gallery in Baltimore for me. Yeah Metro Gallery mm-hmm. we haven't done that one. Um because we saw we saw Knuckle Puck with Heart Attack man Oh, uh, there and it was like it was so much being fun. so close. Like it maxed two hundred people. Mm-hmm. You, you can't help like you have to be close to them. Yeah, so, like one, yeah, that, yeah. one that I've always, always wanted to play is at the nine thirty club or the Fillmore in Silver Spring. I've always wanted yeah, to play one of those because uh, yeah. they're they're apparently really cool. Same thing with Auto Bar as well um, because we we saw Grayscale, Hot Mulligan, Waster, and Waster at Auto Bar, and the sound quality was. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's this nice. one. Always wanted to play. Um. So, where do you see the band in the next five years? Five years. If I'm not dead. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <for let's, laughs> yeah. If I don't graduate college and have like a career. Um. um if uh. <laughs> probably, I I like to hope that we're um. I'm trying to compare to like. Just able to tour. Yeah, probably. able to like tour, you know, without having to worry if it's gonna pay off or not. Yeah, like, like, like able to just like have a record company handle the logistics of actually driving. Yeah, that too. Yeah. No, like, I don't know. Just actually being able to make a living off of you know my music. Because I mean, like you know, everybody wants a job and a career that they had fun with. Yeah. I don't want to be like a clerk at a you know. Targets. All greens, yeah. Yeah, like I don't, yeah. I don't want to be doing that when I'm like 24. I want to be doing something cool with my yeah. life. Mm-hmm. I mean, I mean, I'm sure they have fun, but like, I don't want to do that. Yeah, no, yeah. Not for you, yeah. When I told my parents, I'm like, hey, this is what I'm gonna want to be doing for my life, touring and this, that, and the other. Like, they told you to piss off. Yeah, they basically were like, yeah, good luck, see you later. No, no, I've luckily had very supportive parents with this, so they're. And it's it's really good to have like the support of my own family with it too, because mm-hmm. uh, like they're doing everything they can to make sure that I can get to that point too with the you know actually making a career out of it. So yeah, that's all. My, my parents are just kind of like, cool. They they don't really care. <laughs> they're just like you know just just do it. Just don't overdose on heroin or something, please. Yeah, exactly. No. Just look out for the bad stuff. Yeah, that's basically. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Good advice. Yeah. <laughs> good advice. And other than that, they have no clue about anything. They're just, you know. Yeah, they're yeah. trying, I guess. Yeah. So we do this thing where we get a question from the last band we interviewed, and we ask it to you guys. So this question comes from no coincidence. If you all switched roles in the band, what would be your new instrument? Well, I can't play any other instrument other than the bass. <laughs> well, it's, yeah, so, uh, well, I'd be bass. Uh, he mm-hmm. would be drums and guitar. Yes. Wow, yeah. So he'd, have, right, he'd right? have a handful of, of stuff to do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And It'd since be, he can't play it any of it, it would all yeah. fail. Yeah, it, it would, would not be fun. It would not be good. Okay. I uh, I stopped playing guitar because I couldn't I couldn't play, I could not play a, a D chord to save my life. I just couldn't. I was just like, you know what? It's not for me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah. You guys um, should like try it for like a live show once. You just well, really it. so he's a he's a lefty, so yeah. and I'm a righty, so like my instruments yeah. would be backwards for him. Yeah, his instruments. And, yeah, so, that makes it, it ten times better. 
Maybe, yeah. right, maybe. Right. It would, uh, it wouldn't, I, I, I'd be interested. I'd be, I'd be really curious to see how I would do it singing, because I don't even know. I get so I don't, frustrated. I don't, I don't even know half the lyrics. Oh, I just kind of just like sit there and cry. Dude, I was scared on the live stream today because I didn't know half the lyrics. It's okay. I, these are songs I hadn't done since the start of quarantine. So yeah. it was like, mm -hmm. I was like, oh shit. I was like two minutes before I had to write down the lyrics on a piece of paper and put it at my feet. <laughs> I was yeah. reading the whole time. Damn. Yeah. Exactly. It was, it was very good, though. I was the one who was Thank you. Much. I did have a fun time. It was, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. I wish I could have caught it. I was stuck at work. Um, so we're going to move away from music for the last couple questions. Uh, if you were on death row, what would your last meal be and why? With a drink. With a drink. With a drink. Mm -hmm. I can't say that. Um, mine would probably be, it's like, the Chalupa, it's probably the Chalupa party pack from Taco Bell. <laughs> or whatever it's called. Like, it's like the, the $5 Chalupa. It's yeah, $5 Chalupa box. That's what it's called. For your last meal? Yeah! Because it's, it's, it's $5, it's cheap, and it tastes great. Okay, yeah. W w what drink would you get with it? A Mountain Dew Baja Blast. 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 The Taco Bell. We gotta get sponsored by Taco Bell. Everybody brings it up. Yeah, everybody wants Taco Bell as their last meal. Yeah. And it's, because it's, it's good and it's cheap. It's it's yeah, you're right. It wouldn't be my money yeah. anyway. Um, mine, mine would be a lot of edibles. Okay. Um, I figure, because I could just go out with a bang, but I, I wouldn't feel it. Okay. If I'm being honest, you know. And for my drink, um, a nice cold glass of crisp water. Nice. Well, if we're going to talk it like that, maybe... maybe... No, you, you made yeah. your decision. Yeah, You're not good. 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 yeah okay. <laughs> Yeah, so that way I could just go out numb. Yeah, maybe that'd be cool. You know, just like they inject you, just like I wouldn't feel it. Like, oh, yeah, exactly. You're in another world already. Like, yeah, exactly. Fine. I, I'd be good. Yeah. At that point, I'd be dumb to kill me. It's fine. We're already ascending. Yeah, that's so. peaceful. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's nice. Yeah. Okay. So, if you could live in one fictional world for a week, where would you live? Oh, you want to that one? I'm first? trying to. Think of any like all the fictional worlds I know. Well, I already, I already know where I would go. Then you say it. Give me a second okay. to think. Probably the world of Harry Potter. Probably. Okay. Cool. Yeah, could I'd be a Death Eater or a wizard. I'd be a wizard. Okay. Good. Good. Good to know. Oh my God. I would pro like okay. As weird as it sounds, I'd want to be living like in the 1979 rendition of Alien, or like the original Alien. Oh, yeah. 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 If you're good happens. No, that's the point. Because that gives me a chance to make something good happen. Yeah, sure. That and okay. Superman oh. from 1979 was my crush for a while when I was a kid. That's true. So, oh, yeah. like, yeah. I mean, seeing her be a badass that against explains a lot about you now. And so, Courtney Weaver is an amazing you. woman. Yeah, she you leave her alone. She is. <laughs> yeah. she is. She's a very, very cool woman. What is she put... If you're going to live in Alien, doesn't, like, everybody die in that movie except Sigourney Weaver oh, and, yeah. like, the little girl? Well, yeah. So, I mean, so my chances of survival if I just stick with her are pretty good. Yeah. You got a point. Um, you know? And, I mean, like, I contribute nothing. So, <laughs> so if I died, it probably, I probably deserve it. That's so, very, like, like, I would say you contributing nothing, nothing is very, uh... Parallel to your actual life. Yeah, I know. Like right I now, know. You're still, <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh shit! <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, this is the last question. Some say it's the most important question. Uh, what's your favorite color? If we don't say yellow, it's gonna be bad. But it's not yellow. No. Yeah. No. Oh. My favorite color is a pale blue. Oh. Because it's delicate. Yeah, and I, I would agree with you. I like a good, a good pale, blue, good pale green color. Yes. Nice. Huh? Shut up, Mason. <laughs> yeah, it's. But I mean, <laughs> yeah, yellow is a nice color. It is. But the thing about yellow is that if you get it just slightly wrong, it, it can looks, be harsh. It looks disgusting. It does. Like, yeah. like, like you make yellow a little too green, it looks like like baby diarrhea. Right. Or it, it's, it's not fun. Yeah, it's yeah. not. It's a color that you can't really like. 
It's either you have it, <laughs> it's great, or it just looks terrible. Yeah. And blue yeah. doesn't have many different yeah. shades. Blue, blue is just yeah. It's just there. I have a joke in my head, but I can't. <laughs> no. Um, but so that's all the questions we have. Is there anything you want to plug? Um. I guess the other band that we're gonna that I'm gonna start. Yeah, that's gonna be a while. That's gonna be a. a we have while. merch up um on Bandcamp. Um, I don't know. I guess yeah. Our, uh, it's in our literally every single bio. Yeah. Of ours. Uh, so we have Twitter up or Twitter. We have merch up on Bandcamp. Um, we have a bunch of CDs, a bunch of stickers. Uh, because that's all we can afford so far. Yeah. Okay. Um, but I mean they're really cool. So yeah. uh, definitely check that out because yeah. they're they're pretty nifty. All right. Yeah. Cool. Uh, check that out. Uh, thanks for being with us. Uh, this has been uh, Yellow Sweater, and we're the Good Noise Podcast.